Hello, good evening, this is Diecast Luna. I hope you're all doing well. Welcome to another Vintage Mondays episode, should I say. It's not a Vintage Matchbox Mondays this week, unfortunately, as I've um, not got any new Matchbox pieces for this week. Um, as the guy that I buy a lot of my Vintage Matchbox off um, is now closed on the Mondays. So I'm going to have to start going there earlier in the week, I think, to pick some stuff up. But I will get some stuff for next week's video it's not a problem but as i did say in a, in a previous video not all that long ago i did say that i've i've come across some vintage solido in another shop and uh, so that's what we're going to take a look at this week is some vintage solido so we'll get straight into it actual fact it's one piece in particular so it's not really a massively long video so let's get straight into it and this is it uh very very cool and this is uh, it is a Solido 143rd scale Citroen C4F 1930s tow truck. And on the side there, if we just get a little bit of zoom on. So on the side of the door, it does say SOS Citroen. And I've done a little bit of research, but I find Solido can be quite overwhelming because basically, as far as I know, they're, they're, they were or they are a French company. Um, this apparently is very rare. How rare, I don't know. Just when I looked up this particular version, apparently it's very rare. But um, And it also has a movable jib. So anyway, we will try and get it open because these cases can be a little bit on the fiddly side. So before I open it, that was the original price apparently, whenever it was, or one of the original prices whenever it was sold. Let's see if we can get this case to open. As I said, they... <clears throat> so, there we go. Just bear with me two seconds. Sorry about that. Anyway, so, I didn't pay a lot for this. I paid £5. Um, I don't have a lot of 1 in 43rd scale in my collection, if I'm completely honest. I've, I've probably got about 30 pieces <clears throat> in my collection. And I only pick up 1 43rd scale if it's something that I really think is cool. And straight out the box, this is a really weighty piece. Now you might be saying there's a piece missing to this, and there is, there, the little um, toe hitch or toe hook is missing, but I have already looked on eBay and I looked, I can, I have seen replacement parts. So I'm gonna pick up the little hook um, for this, but there's the movable jib, as you can see, it does go up and down, so. Looks like get an extra zoom. Got a little, oh, I think it's a little piece of plastic on that from like a spring. But it's in lovely condition. It's not got a mark on it. And I think this is from about the 1980s. I can't be 100%. Um, I have got another. Solido of this size, which is a Citroen, funny enough, I think it's a Citroen Traction Avant, which is from about the late 70s. These particular ones with this white box type design were from about the late 70s, early 80s. And I, I, so I think this one is from the early 80s. It has got the Michelin man there stuck up on top. But um, I had to get this because I just, I do like tow trucks. Um, as I've said before in the previous vi previous videos, I do really like, you know, pickup trucks, panel vans, and vans. Um, probably more so than cars, you know. I don't know what it is about things like that, but I do like to collect, like I said, tow trucks, vans, and, and uh, all that good stuff. But like I said, it is very nicely done, very weighty piece. Uh, we've got some underneath details, which I'm just trying to figure out if it's plastic. I think it's... Plastic. You can see the bottom of the engine, you can see the exhaust, you can see the leaf springs. And there you go, it's some Citroen C4F 1930. That's the model that it's modelled on. But um, if I was to give this to someone and just let them look at it, you'd think this was probably made not all that long ago, maybe the last maybe the last 15 years. It's not doesn't look an old model, but like I said, from what I've researched on these, these are actually quite old and I reckon this one from what I've researched is about the sort of early 80s but I have got one 
It isn't to hand. Let me just have a look if I can just, let me just see if I can grab it two secs. So I've managed to find it, so I'll show it in a minute. But anyway, so um, I'll, I'll just show the other one. Let me just, so this one here, I'm not going to get it out as I've shown it before. But so uh, this one apparently is from the late 70s, apparently. Like I said, I don't know a massive amount about these, if I'm completely honest. These are not my thing, but they're just really cool cars. That's very nicely done, has an opening bonnet and all that good stuff. But like I said, I have shown this before, so let me just briefly pop it out if I can. This box and this is a bit on the tight side. There we go. So this one has a pressing feature for the God, these are quite fiddly. Can I get it? Can't seem to get this one. Anyone hey, well, bear with me if, if I can try and got it. Because they're quite brittle. There you go, you can see it's and there it is with the opening. If I get the other side, you might have a chance of seeing the engine. So there you go. So they are pretty cool, but it's got tacky paint. And apparently that's how I know it's an earlier one because apparently they suffer from tacky paint. As you can see, the paint actually feels sticky. It's not coming off, it's not scratching off. It's just, it goes tacky after a while now this one when it's off the base which I'm not going to take it off of has suspension and has a metal base um, but this is older like I said this is from what I've been told is from the late 70s and it just says on here uh, made in France but uh, like I said I don't know exactly maybe some of you on here will know more than I do because like I said I don't Matchbox is my thing. I know more about Matchbox than I do, especially this type of stuff, but I just couldn't resist it. It is very cool. And like I said, I don't collect a lot of one in 43rd, but every now and again, I will pick something up. Let's see if we can see that finer detail on the front there. So you can see the, I think they used to call them motor meters back in the day. That was where your temperature, you would read that from the cab. It is pretty cool. But anyway, that is this week's episode. A bit different, I know. Uh, but I couldn't get any Matchbox uh, for this week. As uh, I think I think the guy's... I think he's taken it a bit easy. Because like I said, he has recently just got over cancer. <clears throat> but I will get in the shop um, this week. And try and get some for next week. Because like I said, I do enjoy doing the Vintage Mondays. Vintage Matchbox Mondays. And uh, but so I did promise that I was going to do some Salido. But anyway, with that, please like, share, subscribe, stay tuned for more vintage episodes, especially vintage Matchbox, uh, Friday Night Customs, and as I said before, you know, occasionally on a Wednesday, I do a bit of a showcase. I'm also there's a couple of challenges that have been put out at the moment, which I think I'm going to have to try and do tomorrow. Um, I think there's one from uh, Charles Dykas Garage at the moment. I think there's also one that Chris's Junkyard Designs. I think he's got a couple of challenges. I'm going to, have a, I'm going to at least have a try and a go at one of them if I can tomorrow. And also, I've got a really cool piece for Wheel Swap. So that'll be interesting. But anyway, with that, I'll see you all very soon. Thank you for watching. Take care.